Alright, yeah, good, good, good. So, this is going to be a quick, uh, Shanti, you can put the phone down, come back to the table. Um, video camera is just going to be on me, so nobody has to worry. I want to go over some of the things that most of us are going to be working on. The algebra functions data analysis is actually a little more advanced, but this is rudimentary. In other words, it's elementary. In other words, it's the beginning stuff. So, we're going to kind of do a quick review on coordinate plane, quadrants, x, y, the positive and negative of the coordinate plane, the quadrants, the four types of slopes, should be an S, four types of slopes, you know when you ever have a plural, it only has the S on the end, and rise over run. So let's go. All right, coordinate plane. When we look at the world, um, I used to remember I used to talk about that song by Khaled, uh, Send Me Your Location. The world is really kind of divided up into four different coordinate planes. So we have up and down, we have left and right, right? Okay. So when we look at a coordinate plane, the first letter in the word coordinate is what? C. C, right? So if we look at that C as being an arrow, it would go like this. So this would be number one, this would be the second part of hits, this would be number three, and this is number four. So as the arrow goes, well actually it would go this way, but um, it goes from the first one to the second one to the third one to the fourth one. So when we talk about the coordinates and the coordinate planes and the coordinate plane and quadrants. These are the four quadrants. Starts here, ends here. One, two, three, four. What's the word quadrant mean? It stops. All right, so we're starting over now, yo. All right, today in Wall Street, you know, Wall Street, we deal with math and money. Actually, math, money, and motivation. I kind of got something new now. Math, money, and motivation. Uh, algebra one review, we're going to do coordinate planes, quadrants, X and Y, plus and minus. The four types of slopes and rise over one. So coordinate plane, the first letter in coordinate is C. And here's our C. And our C goes through these four quadrants. So it starts in the first one, here's the second one, here's the third one, here's the fourth one. If you draw a letter C, that's your way of reminding yourself what the quadrants are. All right, so quadrant, Q-U-A-D, in Latin, when you see a lot of our English words start off in Latin words. Good morning, Granny. Talk. Finish this up. I'm trying to get it done in five minutes. All right, good to go? All right, good, good. So, when we talk about the quadrants, quad, Q U A D. Anyone ever heard that term quad before? Say it again. Quadruplets. Quadruplets. How many children are quadruplets? Four. Four. Right? Okay, you have twins, two, you have triplets, three, you have quadruplets, you have four. So when you see the Q-U-A-D, it's a uh, Latin word, all right? Uh, quad means four, okay? And whenever you see in Latin A and T, it's like spaces. So four spaces, quadrants. Um, if you go to college or if you get a uh, an apartment, you might get a quad. As a matter of fact, when you buy your first investment property, I want you to get a, either a duplex, which means two properties in one, a triplex, which is three properties in one, or a quad, and a quad is four properties in one. That way you can live in one side, live in one of the apartments, and you rent out the other three. Make sense? It'll make dollars for you later on. Okay, so quadrants. So here's our four quadrants. One, two, three, four, remember it goes with a C. The X and Y. The X is what? What's the X line? Is it up or down or is it left or right? Left to right. All right, so this is our X, okay? Which means that this is our Y. So when we talk about the X and Y, we're talking about up and down for the Y and left and right for the X, okay? Hey, 
Um, we talked about last year a number line. And a number line, this middle section was zero, right? All right. So this would be two, and that would be four. There's really a one here, three here, right? These are all positive numbers, right? So these would be what type of numbers? Negative. Negative. So we're going to have what? Negative two, negative four, negative three, negative one. Good. So here's our negative numbers. Here's our positive numbers, right? It's the same thing with our coordinate plane. As we go up, these are positive numbers. As we go down, these are negative numbers. As we go to the left, they are negative numbers. As we go to the right, these are positive numbers. Does that make sense? You remember that? Good, good. All right, so we talked about the coordinate plane. We talked about the quadrants. We talked about the x and y. We just talked about positive and negative. Let me show you what I mean. In quadrant one, everything is positive. It's going up, it's going to the right. Is that the right? Yeah. So quadrant one is positive, positive. Going up on the x, I mean left to right on the x is positive, and on the y is positive too, right? So you have positive, positive. What do we have over here in quadrant two? Okay, so. We have negative and positive. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You with me, Z? You're already good with this, right? Okay, good. All right, so what do we have, Torin, in quadrant three? Um. We're dealing with the negative and positive things. Uh, okay, so it's negative in terms of the x. And in terms of the Y, is it going up or going down? Okay, it's going down. So we have negative, negative. This makes sense, Kaylee? All right. Make sense? Are you following? Okay. By the way, This is the X, that's the Y. This is the X, that's the Y. This is the X, that's the Y. When I say X, I mean left or right. When I say Y, I mean up or down. Okay? Okay? All right, so if that's the case, Helena, what is the positive and negative aspect of quadrant four? Positive and negative. Positive and negative. All right, good. So we got that. Bingo. Hey, um, when we use a negative sign in algebra, what do we do? We put something around it. Parentheses. So if it's going to be a negative sign, put a parentheses around it. When you're typing it in in your calculator, it's going to look so much better. It's going to go smoother. All right, four types of slopes. All right. I start off with a lot of money. I lose a lot of money. Is that positive or negative? Well, first it's positive, then it's negative. Yeah, at the end it's negative. So that's a negative situation, right? Right? So a negative slope starts high and goes low. This is a negative slope. You ever heard of rag to riches? There's a, there's a song out Rags to Riches, right? Yep, Rod Who's Rod Wave. Okay, right, right, right. He sucks. Sorry. Really? Yep. You don't like Tombstone? Tombstone? Like that sounds like. My favorite girl? He sucks. Oh, I mean, Girl of My Dreams. That's what it's called, right? Girl of My Dreams? Yeah, thank you. You don't like him? Well, Tombstone, I like the song Tombstone, but like, that's his music. All right, all right, all right, whatever's clever. All right, so Rags to Riches. He started off here, and he was in rags, which means he was poor. Riches, he's, okay. So that's a positive slope. All right. 
I'm about to get really offensive very quick. <clears throat> Let's say you hit the lottery. Very quickly, you go from zero to being a millionaire, right? What type of slope is that? Well, the reason I'm going to say it's not a positive slope is because you go up you go up so quickly. I mean, you start here and you go straight up. Undefined. What'd you say? Undefined. 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 Just all right, so if we look at these slopes, this is really change over time. That's the college phrase for it, change over time. Rags to riches, you started off, and over time, you went up. You know, from riches to rags, over time, you lose all your money. You win the lottery, it goes up, like, instantly. So it's an undefined slope, all right? So let's say that you're a teacher. <laughs> Teachers make, I don't know, let's say 55000 a year, okay? And so... Over 10 years, year one, I make 55000 Year two, I make 55000 Year eight, I make 55000 What kind of slope would that be? What kind of change over time would that be? I'm sorry. Is there any change in my income? No. No change. Zero. So zero change in my income. So now we have the zero slope. All right. If you remember, I put dashes, I mean lines in my zeros, and I put a dash in my Z's too. All right. So we have the four types of slopes. Zero slope, negative slope, positive slope. I said slot. And an undefined, undefined what? Undefined slope. Slope. Those are our four types of slopes. Have I confused anybody? Everyone's good? Shanti, good? Makes sense? Okay. Last thing we're going to talk about is rise over run. And so what does rise over run look like? You go up and you turn the crystal sign. It's like um, you have two dots, so you'll go up first, and then they'll probably go up. All right, so let's say on my, you capture this? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was only supposed to get that part. Uh-huh. You listen to the music, you just lost it, right? Just forgot about me. Okay. So from this point to this point, let's say that this is one, this is, yeah. let's say this is negative one, this is negative two, negative three. Uh, so this would be what? Negative one, negative two, negative three. All right, my handwriting is horrible. All right, so this is going to be what? One, two, and three. So I went from negative three, negative two, to here. And that's going to be zero. Three. Right? This is my X. This is my Y. This is my X. This is my Y. This point here is at negative three, negative two. I went from here to here. Rise over run. The rise is going up. The run is going to the right. This is what we call change over time. So I started at the bottom, went to the top. This is rags to riches. Okay. How can I figure out what the slope is? You count up and then you go. In. I like this. You um you count up from where the um from where the negative sign and then you count up to two and then zero three is. Okay, so I start here and I count up. Yes. And then I count to the uh, right. To the right. Would I thought it was. Mind? I thought it was the right. 
to the right and then you go up and down. All right, so our slope, which also can be rise over run. Another thing is change over time. All right, so we went from negative three, negative two to zero, three. Now, let's do what uh, Madison just said. What I'm gonna do is count up. So I counted up one, two, three, four, five. So I went up five, and then I went over one, two, three. So I went up five, and I went up I went over three. So my rise, I went up, is five. My run is three. Does that make sense? So what's my slope? Remember, M means slope. My slope is five over three. This is kind of, this kind of seems familiar to you? Okay. Tyreek, you good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So these are everything that for the next, well, today's Thursday, Monday, you're going to be dealing with this in your algebra class. Yes. In, uh, yes. Yeah.